So they lose 35% of their health. And then I gain that times the scaler times the AP. So having more AP makes it even better. So. Want us to make viewer games? Yeah, if people are interested, we can do viewer games today. Uh, Lucifer Senpai, appreciate the eight months. I want fortune back. Yeah, I know. I miss fortune. Haha, <laughs> get it? Miss fortune? All right, let's see what we get here. An early Nocturne. And we didn't play Assassin at all yesterday, so we could play it today. Then again, that is a free Kled 2. Por que no los dos? Rev oh, oh. Hang on. I actually don't have that open. Let me... Okay, Re Redeemed Force Draconic 5. Hmm. Hmm. Might not be this game, Lucifer, but I'll definitely try next game if I don't get it this game. Do you think Assassin is in a balanced enough state to add 8 Assassin now? Maybe. Maybe. I can see it. Morning, everybody. Okay, that is too Draconic, though. If there's a set and shop, we'll go Draconic. Okay, apparently we're going Draconic. Okay, it's a good start. Runon on Nocturne is okay or bad? It's okay, it's pretty good. Yesterday, Becca's chat was debating if you use Shojin or Blue Buff on Karma when playing four invokers. What do you think? I think when playing four invokers, you shouldn't have either, is the real answer. Oh, the Riven was too strong. Oh, eh, not a bad loss. Just asking, don't you feel that you have too much TFT in your life? Job, TFT, coming home and play TFT? Yeah, I'm not going to say I'm the healthiest example there. Uh, hey, Ramblin. Good luck today. I get to cast you today. Uh, Soto987, uh, appreciate the six months. I make dad jokes even though I'm not a parent. I'm kind of a faux pas. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Yeah, I was looking at the results last night to see who made it today. So, I saw you made it, Ramblin'. How much mana per auto does a four invoker team get? Six. Six mana per auto. Is the music too loud or just right? How are you guys feeling about it? All good? Sweet. Is there anything you're looking for at Prime Day? Not really. I think I have most everything I need.
All right. We'll do the pre-level thing. Okay. Cool. Yeah, viewer games after this if you want. Gets me two Cavalier. Go, Clev, go. Nice. Can't wait for Nightbringer Cup and seeing GV8 cast. Yeah, like I said, it'll be interesting. I get to cast three games, that's all I know. So, should be fun. Can you please explain why set two was considered by many the worst one? Personally, I enjoyed it. Uh, the transition from base skins to skins was really jarring for a lot of players. A lot of unintuitive uh, origins, for example, Inferno Zyra, when there's a plant-based origin, is like, what? Um, the complexity of some of the skills, the randomness of some of the skills, Talia, Azir. So, kind of all those things. Switch Cavalier for Brawler. I'm only going to do it simply because it puts me at 10, so even if I lose, I'll have the Econ. Right. That is a scary looking Syndra. Thankfully, it picked up the wrong thing. Great. All right. Summoner was an awesome trait. Yeah, I like Summoner. Zed being an unbalanceable mess. Yeah. Redemption, GA, light spat Zed. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Oh, there's some upgrades. I think the correct play here, as much as I don't want to do it. No, I should keep the Kled to win streak and do it later. I was going to say, sell Kled, put this in and win. That way we could hit 20, but Kled's pretty good here, so... Eh, I should have done it. I would have won if I had. Oh well. Sweet. Is PBE Ash the same as Live Ash? Uh, PBE Ash is a little buffed, but nothing worth talking about. I could sell this. Eh... I'm a coward. I'm not selling it. I'm a coward. I'm not selling it. Okay. What is the best set in your opinion? I liked Fates. And what is the most OP character in all the sets? 911 Karthus is still probably the best thing strength-wise. PBE Samira, we talked about this yesterday. Launch Pantheon. Another That's another gold that would have cost me. God damn it. Hope you and the family are well. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing well. 
All right, first place is running Forgotten. Let me guess, Forgotten Vein. Yep, with a Shadow Locket. Another Draconic player, so we're contested again. Okay, well, there's our Ash Two. And we should do this to get in for Brawler. I need a second Ranger at some point, but otherwise this is pretty strong. So, uh, Angry Bee Noises, great name. Appreciate the five months. I'm one month from six, which is half a year, which is a tenth of ten, which basically means I'm a lifelong fan. <laughs> True. All right, playing Ash without two Ranger here is a little wonky, but. The four brawler is real strong. So. Alright, give me a glove. Give me a glove. Not a glove. Not a glove. There. Is that going to be good again this patch? I don't think so. I don't think he'll have gone up in power enough to matter, but we'll see. Uh, Copper Fox TFT, appreciate the eight months prime time for a Father's Day sub. Thank you. Yep, today is Father's Day. Don't forget to text or call your fathers. I, need, I haven't seen another ranger all game, by the way. It's kind of awkward. Oh, well, he quit. Easy win streak. I know there was a similar question, but not exactly what I want to ask. Do you have any plan on doing something similar like LOL Blitz, but for TFT? Like set for game mode for a week and a month later Galaxies for a week. Is it even doable or not worth it? Uh, right now, it's not really doable from a sustainability standpoint. At some point, having more interesting game modes would be something I'd like to do, but it's a ways off, unfortunately. Still haven't seen another Ranger. No veins, no... Oh, God. This is painful. Who uses Hellion Spatula the best? Heimerdinger. Probably Heimerdinger. I think we lose this. I think Syndra might one-shot my Ash. I don't have the high DPS uptime without Ranger. I didn't one-shot it, but the second cast is gonna kill it, so. It's gonna be close. There goes Dead Ash, yep. Yeah, like I said, pretty sure we lose this. Sag. Hey, Steel Shoe, happy Father's Day to you, too. Alright, Glove is good. No Glove. Shadow Belt? Alright, Shadow Belt it is. Hey Mort, good morning and happy Father's Day. My question, can we get a website or Reddit page with all the states and info you drop on your Twitter? Lots of stats and release dates and schedule stuff because people don't use Twitter. Uh, we have talked to the marketing team about that and there's some interest for it, but not a ton. So... Alright, let's see here. Just dropped a three brawler for now. Just kidding. This way we have the one in a million shot of hitting Heimerdinger. 
Wow. Ash really threaded the needle there. God, it keeps going like right through. Jeez. Ow. Alright. Happy Father's Day to my dream sugar daddy. Jesus. Okay. Well, now we're starting to run out of bench room. consideration for TFT merch like a one meter chunk plushie I mean there's already some merch but will there be more I hope so I really hope so okay LeBlanc's off the ash yeah we witness because during the ash arrows we'll kill stuff oh god come on get it God damn it. Can't quite get the timing right. And there we go. All right, sweet. Have you thought about armories offering more XP? That's an interesting idea, but probably not one will do. Oh God, that was an egg. Uh, no, 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 no. That might've been a Heimer. I don't think it was though, but it might've been. I need to two-star these brawlers to clear up some bench space. I don't think it was Heimer, though. I think it was six gold, so. Holy hand grenade. Uh, uh, shit. Okay, uh, take out two brawlers. That's a high roll. Okay. Five Draconic, and I gotta figure out what I want my items to be here. It's a Shojin on Heimerdinger. It's gotta be a Shojin on Heimerdinger. It's fine. Okay, will you DMCA me if I make a weekly TFT news YouTuber? Nope. I will not. Lobby 1 is filled. Do you want to do any custom rules? Eh, it's up to them. If they're down for it, I'm down. We can beat a level 5 team. <laughs> Is TFT profitable for Riot? Yes. I'm allowed to say that. Yes.
So we need to get Ivern Volley, because we need to get two Renewer in, for sure. Hmm. Ow. The Syndra's one-shotting my backline are really annoying. Okay. Second Heimerdinger? Rod gives me Shadow, uh, Shadow Frontline, but... Hmm. All the good stuff got taken. That's not good. It's a lot of gold. Okay, wait. There's a revenant. Uh, sell the two brawlers. Put this in. Can put this in for now. Hold on to Soraka in case we get something like a Renewer spat. Okay. Uh, hello, Sayer. Appreciate the three months. good state now. Is that 5.5 in a month? Yes. Also, are there any traits you were excited will be gone? Eh, I wouldn't say excited, but we'll see. Alright, got some gold eggs hatching this turn, including a pretty decent sized one. Let's see if we get anything good. A Thieves Gloves! Not gonna complain about a Thieves Gloves. Put it on Ivern. Why don't you put Teemo in? Right now there's no real reason to put Teemo in. It'd be Teemo over Kindred, which would mean lose Ranger, gain Invoker. Eh. Yeah, I could see it. Ow. A-bomb five. A-bomb five. Strong A-bomb. Does Heimer steal a tactic from his turret? Yes. It does. Ooh, Heimer two. Nice. All right, Heimer 2. We need some Heimer items, though, is the problem. Dawnbringer, Nightbringer, Cavalier, Redeemed. None of these are helpful. Oh, God. Hmm. We need to work on getting to nine, so Heimer two should help a little. Nice. All right. 
I'm not here to flame blame or anything, but it seems to me that every patch is basically over nerf, almost in all cases the good stuff, over buff the bad stuff, and repeat next patch. Do you have any plans on how to make the meta for fun and make more comps viable, or are you okay with the patch game plan? Uh, well, I've been pretty honest that yes, there's been too much thrash the past few patches. Um, I don't think there was inappropriate thrash this last patch, though, and uh, I also tweet tweeted about it that there will be hopefully less thrash from here on out. Um, that being said, I would be curious what you think isn't playable that should be, but... Aphelios? Aphelios is definitely playable. So, I just don't agree with that. Why are you with Soraka? The idea was if I got a Renewer spat, I could go for Renewer, but it's probably not worth. Oh, it's this frickin' Syndra that keeps one-shotting my Heimerdinger. Nice. Good ults. Okay, someone did add song to playlist. What do we got here? Uh, how do you think a 5 cost unit which has a massive timer to cast, similar to how Kale works, that just wins the round Exodia style, would that be balanceable? No. No, that would not be balanceable, and I think Kale has proven we shouldn't be doing stuff like that. So. Any buff for Diana once? She will not cast once without at least 6 Nightbringer. I don't think that's true. This guy has a better Heimer than we do. Um... I also don't think a Diana 1 should be guaranteed to cast without any items. Wait. Wait. Oh my god, we won that. <laughs> I'm not sure why you think every champion should be guaranteed to cast their spell every time, especially one as powerful as a Diana. So, just gonna hard disagree with you there. Unfortunately, there were... Oh, wait. We could take this. I think we'll put that on Heimerding. Invoker now also, so that's even faster casts. All right, looking good. I compared Diana with Rise and Rel, and when I she don't cast, I think something off. Uh, well, Rel is certainly strong. I don't know about Rise. Rise without items doesn't seem that strong either, so... Oh, hey, set three. Great. Too risky. 
Alright, we're chilling. Because eventually the play here is get rid of the five Draconic. And the two Draconic that come out become like Garen and Volibear. I managed to hit 9 Skirmisher in ranked, and for the effort and struggle to get to level 9 and find Diego in a Skirmisher stat, it seems really weak and underwhelming. Yep, that's why we're buffing it. Agree with you 100%. Ooh, Revenant Spat. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Here. Be a Revenant. Okay, this seems pretty good. Can't steal a Revenant team of buddy. Come on, where's the five costs? Really? Really? All right. Well, at this point, we're as strong as we're going to get. It's just, can we win with this? I think we win with this, but... Alright. And yeah, I've just got a spare Garen lying around, because, you know, why not? Don't have enough health for Team 03. Stop, show me Heimers, there we go. lock shop for it. Oh, actually, wait. Yeah. Let's do this. Aha! No lock shop. Okay. I think next turn we take out the five draconic, though. I think five draconic has lived its usefulness. How much HP on Volibear? 5,180? Boom. I don't know, it's looking like a first. Heimer on carousel? No Heimer on carousel. Sag. Looking pretty good. Seven Heimers. Eight Heimers. 
Eight Heimers. Oh no, he stole my Heimer. Didn't matter, but he stole my Heimer. All right, please no double kill. Okay, we got one shot. One opportunity. Nico, give me a Nico. Damn it, not a Nico. No. No. <laughs> throw one round? I don't even know how to throw this. Here. I'm gonna throw around. Whee! Ah! I'm not selling board. I don't do sell board. I think my board was strong enough that my positioning didn't matter. <laughs> All right, well, eight Heimerdingers. I tried. GG.